In today's story shot, we present to you the story of Vikram Sarabhai. On 12th August 1919, Vikram Sarabhai was born in a Gujarati family. His father, Ambalal Sarabhai, was an affluent industrialist and owned many textile mills. He matriculated from Gujarat College in Ahmedabad and later joined the University of Cambridge in England to study natural sciences. Upon returning to India, he undertook research in cosmic rays under physicist Sir C. V. Raman at the Indian Institute of Science. He established a research institution, the Physics Research Laboratory in Ahmedabad, on 11th November 1947. He was just 28 years old at that time. Known as the cradle of space sciences in India, India decided to go to space when Indian National Committee for Space Research in Kospar was set up in 1962 with the indigenous Dr. Vikram Sarabhai at its helm. In Kospar set up the Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station in Tiruvananthapuram for upper atmospheric research. Sarabhai established the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO in 1969 which replaced the erstwhile Incospar. He identified the role and importance of space technology in a nation's development and provided ISRO with the necessary direction. Sarabhai believed that India too could be among the space satellite superpowers of the world. His vision and pioneering work allowed the launch of India's first satellite Aryabhat. Sarabhai was also a profound lover of arts. He was married to renowned classical dancer Mrinalini Sarabhai. Together they founded the Darban Academy of Performing Arts in 1949 in honor of a wide range of Indian art forms and styles. He established many institutions like Nehru Foundation of Development in Ahmedabad and Indian Institute of Management Ahmedabad at IIM which is considered world class management institute. He died in 1971 at Kovalam Tiruvananthapuram Kerala. but his legacy lives on and india is reaching new heights in space exploration every day and whatever we are achieving in space today we owe that success to vikram sarabha